looks like a good one. Yes! When the Sooners step onto this court on Sunday afternoon to take on North Carolina, they'll be facing off against perhaps the best basketball program in history. And while OU hasn't been to the Elite Eight since 2003, North Carolina's been here the past three years and will be looking to win a record 100th tournament game. And while media and fans alike would like to focus on the one-on-one -on -one showdown between reigning player of the year, Tyler Hansbro, and certain future player of the year, Blake Griffin, this game will almost certainly be decided by someone from the supporting cast. The Sooners will need someone to step up, just like Tony Crocker did in the Sweet 16 win over Syracuse. I mean, we're going to be who we are. Who we are is pretty good, and it's led us to 30 wins this year. But at the same time, you have to know who you're playing. I used the analogy with our guys this morning. It's like when I'm a huge boxing fan. It's like when Muhammad Ali fought George Foreman. You know, he, he couldn't go out there and just slug with Foreman. You know, he had to find a tactical way. And that's what we're going to try to do. I don't know if it's going to be effective, but we're going to try to do that. But they're, the thing that makes them so special, North Carolina, is that they can beat you anyway. They can beat you playing their way. They can slow it down and grind it out because they have so, so many weapons. And so that's what poses such a great challenge for everyone that's played them. You know, like Coach Cable said, they're, they're a great team um, all over the board. Inside, you know, they have the, you know, National Player of the Year, returning National Player of the Year, and, and you know, a supporting cast that is, you know, just as good as anybody in the country. So we're going to have to do a great job of really getting down and playing well defensively um, and also offensively, um, just, you know, trying to slow them down and then um, get into a rhythm. Well, there's nothing that concerns me more than Blake. No, I mean, he's a guy who can get 40 and 20. And, you know, there's not those guys around very often. So that does concern me more than anybody, anything else. But they really have good balance around when they're making their jump shots, you're in trouble. I mean, Syracuse saw that last night. And uh, I think that you can focus on Blake. And Syracuse chose to play zone to try to surround him. Uh, OSU, as I said, I just watched that tape this morning. They tried to play a lot of zone. And yet, if they're shooting the ball like they did last night, you're going to lose. And uh, so uh, he is the number one concern, but Johnson and Crocker and Warren and those guys uh, making outside shots, uh, um, you know, I mean, they're really good basketball team or they wouldn't be here. Well, yeah, I mean, clearly he's a good player. You know, I really don't watch a lot of college basketball, so I haven't caught many of his games, but I understand the hype surrounding him and I've seen some highlights of him. I mean, he's a pretty impressive player. You know, I'm not going to try to go out there and and try to, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one match with them. I'm just going to try and do whatever my team needs needs me to do to win. And that's just going to be my focus. It's, a, it's what everybody works for. It's what we work for over the summer, over the uh, preseason, all throughout the season. Um, the hours that the players put in and the hours that our coaches put in is, I mean, you know, it's, it's why, you know, it's the biggest stage and this is where we want to be. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely a great feeling. and. and um, part of a dream come true. When you lose at this stage, what somebody does is they reach in and they jerk your heart out and they shake it right in front of your face. It can't get any worse. And when your team is cutting down that nets and going to the Final Four, it can't get any better. We, we try to get our team prepared and we're going to come out and try to play as hard as we possibly can tomorrow. And hopefully that leads to a victory. If it doesn't, then I don't, I don't look at our season as being a failure. Um, you know, I think we've had a heck of a season so far and we want to keep playing. And we think we're capable of, of, of getting past these guys, but we know it's going to take a, almost a perfect game for us for that to happen. So will the Sooners put on their Sunday best and attain near perfection in a win over the Tar Heels? We'll find out a little bit after 4 o'clock on Sunday with a ticket to the Final Four in Detroit on the line. Reporting from the NCAA Tournament in Memphis, Damon Fontenot, News OK TV.